Hello guys and welcome back to another Thorncraft 4.2 tutorial. So today we're going to be moving on to Golemancy and in today's video we're just going to cover the basic different types of golems and how each one differs to its predecessor. So there is sort of a tier tree going down from golems. You're always going to start with your straw golem in your book. If you have a look here, we got straw golems. We'll cover the trunk and the hungry chest in another video. But for now, we're going to go down through all of these golems here and we'll cover all the other bits and pieces in different various videos. So, first one is the straw golem. This will be the very first one, the very first tab that you see on this page. And you have to progress down, obviously, and unlock things as you go all the way down to the bottom there. So, straw golems um, gives you all the stuff about. Um, tells you all stuff about animation cores, Golemancer's bells, uh, what kind of things you can do for them. Just some of your basics about golems, really. Um, and it just says you discover the secret, and they'll use... I'll tell you what, let's read a little bit from here. So you discover the secret within golem workers while the iron golem is impressive on its own. In its own way, it's very limited and uncontrollable. You manage to solve both those problems. Your golem workers have just enough will and self-awareness to make them useful tools, but not enough to render them uncontrollable. So they're not like super, super powerful like your normal iron golems are uh, from vanilla Minecraft, but they're like quite small and they're quite versatile and useful and you can control them, which is the best part about it. Uh, you've also had to discover how to make the golem answers bell, golem animation cores, and see their respective research and entries for more detail. Uh, the golem you craft can be placed in the world but remain inactive until given animation core. The the placement of the golem needs you needs to be considered carefully. If you wish into it to interact with inventories, you will need to place it by clicking or shift clicking on the inventory on the side you wish it to interact with. Most golems can operate in a range of 16 blocks around their home location. Cool. So the first golem you can create is made from bundles of hay and straw. It's physically weak and easy to destroy, but very light and nimble. So, as you can see, it's going to take some bits and pieces in the crucible. I've got some automated crucible things set up here. Um, uh, so the durability is very low, so it means it's not going to have a lot of health. Uh, strength means it's not going to be able to carry a great ton, I don't think. Or it's not going to have like a great amount of strength if you're using it to attack things. Um, self repair is average, so it will start regenerating itself uh, the same sort of rate that you probably would. I'm guessing that's what the average means on that. It only has a carry limit of one item each time, so they're not very ideal for farms and stuff. They are, however, pretty fast, but they can only take one upgrade as well, which we'll get into in another video. So that's your straw golems. This is basically made with a straw bundle, which is made with nine wheat and a crafting grid like so. You take said thing, place it into your crucible, and it's going to say you're going to need all of this stuff. So you need Humanus, Motus, and Spiritus. And that's going to give you this really cool clay golem. Place them down in the world. As it shows, it's not going to do anything just yet until we get on to animation cores. Cool, so going on from this, you actually got um, wooden golems, which is tier 2. So this golem is carved from great wood log. It's moderate improvement over the straw golem. Uh, so the durability is below average, so it's not like really low like the straw golem was. Uh, the strength is low. I don't think as bad as straw golem either. Uh, self repair is average, again, same as us. Um, speed is above average, so it's not as fast as the straw golem, um, but it... It can carry up to four items, which makes it maybe that little bit more efficient if you use it in a farm, sort of, let's say. And it can only take one upgrade, the exact same as its predecessor, which is the short golem. Cool, so branching off of the wooden golems, you actually have two. Uh, this is also going to take the exact same types of uh, stuff. Motus, Spiritus, and... Um, completely just blanked on that one uh, but you know which ones I mean you know which ones we need for that cool so branching off of this you've actually got two so you can come this way to flesh golems which will give you a bit of warp every time you make one of these or you can come down to clay golems but first of all we're gonna have a look at flesh golems so uh, golems are made zombie flesh for several features to recommend them not only does it repair itself very quickly it's able to hold two upgrades so this makes them a little bit better so it's got low durability 
which is pretty much the same as the last ones. Uh, low strength, same as the last one. Self repair is very fast. So if this thing gets damaged, it's going to repair itself super duper fast, which makes it ideal. Um, just it's not going to die out pretty much. Uh, it's got a carry limit of four, exactly the same as a wooden golem. Speed is above average, again, same as a wooden golem, but this one can take two upgrades. Um, Put it in a crucible, exact same thing, except it takes eight humanus, eight motus, and eight spiritus, whereas its predecessors were taking four. Cool. Uh, so this still has a carry limit of four, but the two upgrades things mean you can put two of these things, and we'll get onto these, like I said, in another video, and I'll explain what each one of them does and stuff like that. So again, you just take said thing, place it in there. That's made with zombie flesh like so. Place it into your crucible like that. Cool. So moving on, I'm going to go on downwards now to the clay golems. Uh, fire clay has proven to be a superior craft material for golems. It's fireproof and has more than adequate mobility. Uh, so this one pretty much averages out quite a bit. It's got average durability, average strength. Repair speed is slow because it's made of clay. There's not a lot you can do about that. Uh, it's got a carry limit of 8, which upgrades it from its predecessor, which is the wooden one again. Um, speed is average, so it's not super duper fast. Um, this, I think the wooden golem was above average. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's above average speed on that. So it's getting a little bit slower, but it can carry eight. So it can make it that little bit more beneficial again for you. And this drops down to one. So it depends if you want the one upgrade or the two upgrades. Uh, you can do different things with the upgrades. So you'll have to decide on that later on. And this is made with stone brick. Um, sorry, bricks, which is made with normal bricks, which is just clay smelted up in its raw form. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take said thing, place it in here, and that's going to take four of um, Humanus, Motus, and Spiritus again. Cool. Again, we can place these things down. You can have a look at what they look like. That one had a hat. <laughs> okay, so there's your wooden golem. There's your flesh golem. Funky looking little thing. And then there's your clay golem. Nice, nice, nice. So let's get rid of these little fellas before they start clogging up our inventory and start climbing all over us. So, next off of that, we're going to branch branches off two ways again. Branch off tallow and to stone. So, we're going to have a look at tallow again first. Uh, this is basically a smaller upgrade to the clay golem. Um, it's basically got average durability, average strength, average self-repair. So, this one is average across the board pretty much. Um, so, it upgrades it slightly from the clay golem, which had quite low self-repair. Um, it has a carry limit of 8, exactly the same as the clay golem. Speed is the exact same as clay golem, but this one can take two upgrades, which makes that a little bit more beneficial. As as uh, the same with the flesh golem, it does require double the amount of essentia to make this one. And it's made using a tallow block. Tallow block I've touched on before in alchemy, and it's just magic tallow in a grid like this. And to make magic tallow, uh, you just put rotten flesh into a crucible with two precantatia, which is pretty, pretty simple. So and then we just grab that, go like that, go like that. That's gonna make stuff and things happen place down our tallow golem funky little looking dude there so moving on we got the stone golems stone golems is very durable and able to carry heavy loads but they're much slower than most golems the weight allows and allows it to sink in water so if you had a farm say i don't know and you had water in it and things were dropping down to the bottom of the water say you had some golems fishing and then you had this one collecting uh, stone golems can sink to the bottom of the little lake thing, pick up the fish, and then bring them back up for you, which makes them a little bit more ideal. Uh, the durability is above average, the strength is above average, so these guys do make good for attacking and defense as well. You can actually put cores on them to do that for you, or else that would probably be ideal for that. Self-repair is slow, however, which means it's not going to be super duper fast in repairing itself, which is going to suck a little bit uh, if it does get badly damaged has a carry limit of 16, which is double anything that we've seen so far, which is really, really cool. Speed is slow, um, but then you can deal with that, I guess, if he's not gonna be traveling very far, and he only takes one upgrade. Um, and that is made using stone bricks, which is made with stone blocks like so. Everyone knows how to make stone bricks, it's another thing, man. And then we're gonna go in there, and we're gonna pop that in there, and that's gonna make stuff and things. Nope, you're gonna come down, and it's gonna make stuff and things like that. Cool, so we're gonna place our little gum down there. Looking funky little bricky dude. Looks quite nice actually. So we've got, only got two more golems to go. Let's do these super duper quickly. Uh, iron golems. Iron golems are extremely tough and strong and able to carry huge loads. Their weight however causes them to move quite slowly and sink in water. Uh, so it's got high durability, high strength, very slow self repair. Carry limit of 32 which is double the stone golem which is absolutely fantastic. 
Uh, the speed is very slow, a lot slower, like slower than the stone golem and it's self-repair, it's slower than the last one as well. And only take one upgrade, which kind of bums it out a little bit and it will only take four of these things here. So this is made with an iron block, everyone knows how to make an iron block. Take iron block, place iron block in there, take golem, place golem down there. Funky little looking dude, I actually got a crack down his back as well, I quite like that texture. But... Yeah, so these guys are quite good. They're very, very strong. Carry tons of stuff for you. And they're not actually super duper stone. You can put upgrades to make these things faster, by the way. Um, yeah, air upgrades actually make them faster, which is really, really cool. And there is an advanced version to these, uh, which I'll cover another time. Really, really cool. They, they're so much better when you upgrade them on the altar as well. So, very last one we have is Thormium. Of course, what is Thorncraft without some Thormium stuff in it? So, Thormium Golems have slightly better tributes than Iron Golems and are able to have two upgrades. They're also highly resistant to magical damage. Weight allows it to sink in water. So, durability is very high. Strength is high. Self-repair is slow. Carry limit is 32, which is absolutely insane. Uh, exactly the same as the uh, predecessor, yes. Yes, exactly the same as the Iron Golem. Uh, speed is slow again, but this one can take two upgrades. You can put two speed upgrades in it and make that a little bit fast if you're really concerned about the speed um, and stuff like that. And then, of course, this is just made with a Thormium block, which is, of course, Thormium ingots like so. And I do believe, yeah, that one takes eight, eight, and eight. So that one is a little bit more expensive, but these ones do look pretty funky. Let's place that one down like so. And it's basically just a purple version of the iron golem thing that we have here. But as you can see, look how many hearts they have. It's crazy. And as you go down, they get less and less and less. So if you start down here, this one's got five hearts. This one's got a couple more. This one's got a couple more. Couple more, couple more, couple more, couple more. And then we get to this one, which has got crazy amounts of hearts. So they can tank quite a bit of damage. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you guys have found this video useful. Um, like I said, in the next one, we will start covering the upgrades for them and have a look at the Golem Anthony's Bells. And then we'll have a look at all that stuff and how you can make your Golems better and help you decide which Golems you kind of want for what projects and just have a general look at the variety of things you can do with them. Um, but as always, thank you guys for watching i hope you have yourselves a very fantastic day make sure you like the video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll see all your beautiful faces in the next video goodbye